Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I want to take a look at this add-on called Spring Bones by Artel. So basically, it's allowing you to set up an armature and create a spring and bouncy dynamic effects. It says currently very early state alpha proof of concept. Um, it's mainly a toy to play with, still fun to play with. But I, I, I made a quick test and it's actually working quite well. Um, so I made this simple sausage. Okay, it's a bit not very smooth sausage, but uh, it's very interesting. Um, so yeah, first of all, you download um, the add-on, simply clone it and download as zip. And I already got it here under my downloads. And this is this one, Spring Bones Master. And there's this um, Python that you can use to install the add-on. And under preference, you should be able to see animation Spring Bones by Artel. Okay. So next, we want to create simple bone. I'm not sure. Go to edit mode. Simply make a yeah, let's make four bones like that. File, save as, save it as land spring bone demo. Spring bone. And the way to set it up, simply you go to post mode of the bone and then select Select the child bone. Don't select the parent bone. It will not gonna work unless you have like empty. So select this and then go under bones and you should be able to see spring bones. Okay, so you can drag this up. Um, there is start, start animation mode, enable bones, rotation. So if I look at how to set this up, click enable bones to enable spring, must be a child bone, okay select the child bone maybe select this one and then try enable bone and let's see what happened if we just hit so there are two two options here interactive mode and then this one with animation mode with support for baking let's try this one first okay okay i know we probably need to have the timeline and just simply run it so run the timeline and then okay, let's move around this guy okay it didn't work select this stop maybe select this this guy right here and then enable bone Same thing, doesn't seem to work. Maybe I need to enable the rotations and start. Okay, now it's working. Um, okay, so this is the interactive mode. I don't apparently, I don't need to run the playback, so that's cool. So, why it didn't work before, I don't know why, it's, but let's try. So, we have this with enable bones if I turn off rotations I think that's why okay see still working let's stop this start again yeah maybe maybe that's a bug But I like to have rotation, I think. Okay, yeah, we probably need to enable rotations. So select this, enable bones, turn on rotation. Because this bone is kind of connected to the parent, that's why we need to enable rotation, I think. So now it should work. 
one, two, three, stop, start. Now three bones rotating nicely. So this can be really nice for dangling thing, maybe hat or something. This looks pretty cool and we can change the bounciness and speed parameter. Okay. Bounciness speed. So let's change this to two. It's becoming very bouncy. Stop. Maybe I'll change this to 0.2. Start. Less bouncy. It's kind of like a smoother kind of effect. It's not bad actually. So let's just reset everything. Position and rotation is reset. Let's try this on a mesh. Um, let's create something really quickly. Nodes, cylinder, finish. Right. Okay, cylinder. Turn off the cap. So this guy, visibility, people display. All edges, wireframe, make a couple of subdivisions, make height, turn off center, okay. Okay, and radius 0.2. Okay, file save, turn this off. Simply select the cylinder and then select the armature. Control P with automatic weights. Um, you can see there's this spring helper empty, um, so that's interesting. Let's now look at our armature again. Viewport. Let's see. I want to have this at the front always. So with armature selected, go to post mode. Still working, right? It's less bouncy, definitely. Change this to 0.6 for all of them. Oh yeah, now it's definitely more bouncy. Maybe 0 0.45. 0.45 yep it's more snappy it's kind of nice okay so that's cool and we can stop it let's say you want to animate it um, so we are we're gonna animate the parents and let's zero this out let's animate it like animate just the position so one position, go to this position, back to the original positions, and then this, go to this position, and then back to the original position. So, so it's like A, B, A, B, C, okay, or something like that. Playback. Didn't see anything. Start animation mode. Now you actually see something, which is actually interesting, right? And you want to bake it. Normally, the way I bake it is simply simply using FBX. So this is like 80 frames of animation. So we have all the keyframes, start and the end. So we can save, file, export, FBX. Yeah, just use the default options. File, new, general, discard. File, import, FBX. I think FBX trick is the, the fastest you can get animations to bake. Ah, look. 
funny thing stops timeline let's check it out ah see it stops at frame 80 which is quite funny i found so that's mean we go back to our spring bone and file save as so we shouldn't stop it at frame 80 we should just let it go for a couple of more frames okay 100 yes so maybe around here we keep the same keyframe just put it there like that that's just to ensure that we have the whole animations so go back to the original spot file save file export fbx it's gonna do the simulations and everything it's gonna back it up, back it into fbx so file import fbx now we should have the whole animations 120 frame exactly everything's baked and everything's good to go you can delete the empty yeah this is good you can give it a material file export gltf screen demo and export and look at this it just convert it into usdz for ar usdz convert it should in theory works look at that oh yeah we need to make it double-sided yep i think it's pretty fun it's pretty interesting so we, we can always go back so this is unbaked version right we know the animation works so we can perhaps play around with this a little bit more like maybe go to edit mode select this guy let's try let's try making more of this so the post mode so go back to the original okay and then select this mm. enable bone rotations enable bone rotations all of them get this spring now start animation mode or start interactive mode so that's interactive mode it's very cool <laughs> it's pretty cool that we can just do this um, perhaps you can use skin modifier for this actually yeah why not maybe i can try that So this uh, should be, we should use animation mode. So this is the one that actually can be baked. Um, at some point, not now, but I'll, I'll try to make some kind of um, character animations, just a basic one that's actually real time. I'm kind of curious about that, especially with this uh, interactive mode. Okay, that's the animated mode we delete everything just the interactive mode it, you see this it looks like um that character like uh, the balloons that you see on the street it's kind of nice maybe it's fun to make something like this um yeah so so that's basically spring bones uh, this balloon character, usually you, you saw this kind of character not not this balloon, it's something that's uh, 
the car seller usually have this character Ah, uh, this one. What is this called? Fly guy, two leg, at auto dealer. Sky dancers. Yeah, I'll try to make this next time. Inflatable. Okay, inflatable characters. But now you know how to do this. Basically, simply by using spring bombs. All right. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.